Hello, and welcome to the Crest Hill community in Bristol Township. Our community is composed of some of the most successful families and individuals in Gotham, and we are so happy to have you join us. Unlike the city proper, Crest Hill offers community amenities, luxury homes, and like-minded individuals. In Crest Hill, you can actually feel safe. Our community boasts individuals like Dr. Thomas Elliott, Geraldine Powers, and even Bruce Wayne. We are always happy to welcome new community members as long as you keep open minds and pocketbooks about us. Our rules are pretty simple. Just make sure not to. <laughs> Great keeper of the hidden paths. In shadows deep and ancient lore, we seek thy grace. Guide our hearts through the labyrinth of mystery as the stars weave their tales in the night's embrace. The following footage is property of the MetaHuman Observation and Protection Agency. Only those with security clearance level 5 are authorized to view it. Failure to observe this security clearance could result in detainment, interrogation, or even execution. Thank you, and have a nice day. Personal log, Batman, entry number 7317. Today I returned the Joker to Arkham Manor. The bastard murdered one of the doctors there, Stephen Kellerman. <sighs> I think it's finally time to begin testing B4RBAT. We'll commence testing once preparations are made. No one else is going to get hurt. These monsters. Alfred thinks this is a bad idea. Under normal circumstances, I'd agree. But he hasn't seen what I've seen. He doesn't know what I know. I owe it to Jason. I owe it to Barbara. End log. Thou who dost traverse the realms unseen, bestow upon us the clarity of thy sight. Let thy whispers echo within our souls, and illuminate the truths that dwell in twilight.
Project Log. Designation B4RBAT01. After the Joker's takeover of Arkham Manor, my hand has been forced. The monsters that Gotham has created have become too. The cost has been too high. I can feel my own desperation. The integrations for this step are alterations to formulas developed by Dr. Kirk Lystrom and Professor Hugo Strange. The Manbat formula was derived from the blood of Wayland Jones, but the drawbacks were an insatiable hunger carried by his blood. My alteration to this formula should eliminate that side effect. This will enhance my senses, increase my strength, and bolster my durability. The changes I've made should also allow me to maintain my humanity. It'll prevent a drastic transformation similar to that of Dr. Langstrom. The compound used on Harvey Dent by Professor Hugo Strange is more delicate. If my simulations are accurate, the altered serum should enhance my brain functionality and subdue my emotional responses. This should sharpen my reflexes and critical thinking. I'll just have to eliminate the side effects that cause impulse control. After the serum burned Harvey's face from the inside out, it makes control over the formula paramount. There is no margin for error here. I have to get this right. Alfred has already informed me of his disapproval. He's worried that I'm getting in over my head. I told him I didn't have a choice anymore. Gotham has worsened. If this process is successful, I will move on to the next phase. If it fails, I'll monitor myself for a few days and reevaluate. End project log. With the song of the winds, we call upon thee to grant us wisdom and choices we make. May thy presence be our steadfast light as we travel forth for thy glory's sake. Project Log, designation B4RBAT02. Initial exposure to the altered formulas has proven successful. After a few patrols, I've markedly noticed an increase in my effectiveness and efficiency. We'll continue to monitor myself while beginning the next phase. This phase will be more complicated than the previous one. It works in two parts. By utilizing the work of Dr. Jonathan Crane, alias Scarecrow. I hope to gain access to his so-called fear dimension. It appears to some as a liminal hellscape, and to others, a place filled with their worst nightmares. I've gained access to Scarecrow's notes and experiment logs. It's been very helpful in ascertaining his process. Best case scenario, I'm hoping to be able to shift between this reality and that one to enhance stealth and intimidation capabilities. Worst case scenario, my consciousness becomes trapped there. Thus, the need for caution. As for Clayface and his morphic ability, that will be inherently dangerous. His condition is highly volatile and deadly. I'll have to reverse engineer the process that transformed him and dial it down. My hope with this one is to develop immunity to Clayface's acidic touch and to utilize temporary morphic capabilities. This would allow me to appear even more frightening in short amounts of time. I'll accomplish this by creating an apparatus for my suit. I've calculated that the integration of Clayface's abilities should be aided by the fact that it is derived from the Man-Bat Serum. Alfred has stated again that he thinks this is too risky. I explained my safeguards to him once more, and that seemed to put his mind at ease. At least, somewhat. We'll begin preparations administer and monitor myself for the next few days. If any concerns arise, we'll abort the project. End log. In communion with the spirits of the earth, we honor the bonds that unite all beings. O oh, ancient one, we offer our humble devotion in the sacred dance of creation our hearts are free.
Project Log. Designation B4RBA T03. Well, the previous phase took more of a physical toll at first. I am now adjusted to it. With the Joker's most recent escape from Arkham Manor, fulfilling this project's goals has never been more urgent. His abilities continue to be a mystery to me. After the last time, I don't want to take any chances. I obtained this radio from Dr. Jeremiah Arkham. He uses it to communicate with the Riddler by tuning in to the correct frequency. Although Nashton claims that his abilities can only be obtained through some kind of otherworldly entity, I remain unconvinced. If I'm able to tap into Riddler's ability to control technology, that would be a tremendous benefit to the project. I have Riddler's copy of the play that put him in his current state. I'm going to test reading it in parts rather than all at once. It's risky, but I need to take that chance. The strength lent by the Man-Bat formula and Croc's blood has been a significant improvement to the project. Laszlo Valentine may still be missing, but his technology could help bolster that strength. After talking to his son, William Valentine, I've obtained some of the animatronics from his father's business. I'll use them to create an exoskeleton for my suit. Despite the rumors of people murdered by Laszlo and crammed inside his Dolotrons, the technology is impressive, efficient, and reliable. I'll continue searching for Valentine and all of the pain, sorrow, and evil he sowed will be wreaked upon him tenfold. Alfred approached me last night with Dick. They told me they were worried about my increased aggression, in their words. I fired back, reminding them that Gotham did not always spew out monsters, demons, and dark gods. I told them that if these threats continue to present themselves, Gotham would be utterly destroyed if I did nothing to match them. Alfred asked me if this was because I felt responsible for Jason and Barbara. <sighs> I told them both to leave. This undertaking is far too important to let my personal feelings get in the way. Maybe he's right, but... What choice do I have? End log. Hear our prayer, O Watcher in the Dark, as we walk the paths of fate and time. May thy strength be our anchor in the ever-turning wheel of the Divine. Project Log Designation B4RBAT04. The previous phases are starting to exact a toll. I can feel my body fighting against itself. By now, it's too late to turn back. Alfred left five days ago. He told me that if I didn't stop what I was doing, he would take actions into his own hands. After a few hours, I detected a breach in my network security. Using my new technological abilities, I found a back door into their systems and tracked it to an old GCPD building. I saw Alfred talking to Gordon and revealing my secret. I felt rage boil up inside me. Croc's hunger within me called for blood. Scarecrow's fear dimension wanted me to use its power. The dark side of my psyche filled me with cold calculation. Man-Bat's animal instinct kicked in. Before I knew what was happening, I had arrived at the building. I fought against it, but it felt right. All my life I fought against killing, against crossing that line. But what happens when you see horrors bleeding into your city that shouldn't exist? What happens when the darkness at the edges of your consciousness starts to claw its way out? What happens when these things cause those you care about to perish? I've incorporated the work of Dr. Pamela Isley into the project. While it did not have the intended effect, it did allow me to speak with her. She's still very much alive in Gotham. I've also incorporated the Lazarus formula and isolated its healing properties. This will allow for an increased healing factor. I need to find a stabilizing agent before long, or my DNA will unwrite itself. I need something that can regulate each enhancement within me. 
I don't know what the MOPA is, and I don't know where Alfred or Gordon escaped to, but I do know this. They have made me even more desperate to accomplish what I set out to do. I have ended the reign of Ratzal Ghul, and I've destroyed the worst murderers and criminals. If anyone or anything tries to stop me from protecting Gotham, I will burn them to the ground. I see this all for what it is now. A war. And wars have casualties. God. Oh, darkest of dragons, please hear your host. We raise our souls to you. Designation B4RBAT05. I found a stabilizing agent. By altering the GR NDY virus, I can halt the competing enhancements in my body. After studying it, it somehow made all the pieces of this project fit together. Almost like it was custom tailored to the enhancements in my system. I might no longer feel human. But, I feel like something more. I think, I think that the B4RBAT project is complete. This virus should allow me to incorporate any future enhancements with no issue. My next target is the last of those creatures left on the streets. The one that has evaded my justice for too long. I will find the Joker. I will find out where he gets his abilities from, and I will end him too. If my former allies would call me a monster, then I am only what monsters made me. If you find these videos, pray I don't come for you next. <sighs> Administering the virus now. <sighs> 